Hey everybody, Wyoming James checking in from the cab of the Cobalt Blue Adventure Wagon. Um, I read a comment last night on uh, on YouTube about uh, the name. So somebody said, hey, I, mu I must have missed the episode where uh, you changed the name of the truck. And so could you tell me about that? So I'm going to take just a real quick minute. I, I wish I could tell you the exact um, the exact video it was. I know it was a coyote hunting video. It was last late last winter. But uh, what it was is there's a guy named Avery Abood, and he uh, he's a Canadian Canadian watcher, and he uh, he commented. He's like, "Hey man, love your stuff, but could you please, please, please call the truck something other than the panty dropper because it's just um, now." Here's the thing. I, I I try to appeal to everybody here. And I don't want to offend anybody, so we'll we'll make this a, a more more family oriented show, and we'll quit calling it the panty dropper. Even though, even though as I drive this thing down the street, the underwear come flying at the truck. <laughs> I'm kidding. <clears throat> so uh, so what happened was we 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 did a little poll, and I said, hey, I want you guys to give me some ideas. If you want me to change the name of the truck, give me some ideas. And there were a fair amount who said, no, keep it the way it is. But the majority of people had recommendations on on what we should call it. So one of the one of the one of the suggestions was the adventure wagon. So that's the one I stuck with. I really like that one. So now we are driving the cobalt blue adventure wagon. With us today is our very very good friend, Mister Notorious Donny B. Donny B in the seat next to me. Uh, Donny's out here with an antelope tag, and of course we have. The always lovely, always on his phone, Mr. Jake, <laughs> up to no good, Wood in the back seat, doing all the gate opening, doing all the spotting. He's going to be doing all the dragging. He, Jake's Jake's on it this year. So um, we're out here with with Donnie B, and you'll remember him from from years past. Uh, he's the uh, He's the guy who gets all the fan mail since our videos aired. Um, he, he's just covered up with it. So it's nice to have a celebrity in the truck. So uh, we are out here. Uh, Danny has, uh, Donnie, sorry, <laughs> Donnie has an antelope tag. Uh, and so we're just out here trying to fill that antelope tag. Now, we probably could have filled that tag three or four times already on this first morning. But we're being kind of particular. We want, we want Donnie's first antelope to be a really, really good one. So... Hey, look, it's it's Tim Wood calling us. We're going to ignore him. All right. Oh, no. Hold on. Let's do this. Tim, hey. What's going on? All right. So do you need me on the phone while you spot these? I need you to come over. Okay. I'll head that way right now. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. So that was Tim Wood on the phone. Checking in. And not all of Tim Wood's phone discussions are... Uh, suitable for all ages which is just what we were talking about right we we changed up the uh the name of the truck so that we could appeal to all ages and and uh so that's why we had to edit out that little tim rant he's tim's a little upset because his his truck is still not fixed completely um he uh drove down to cheyenne yesterday to pick it up from the from the uh, shop drove it all the way back here Gets into this morning and it says it's got like 87 miles to go before it goes into limp mode again. So um, that's Tim's deal. So I guess that's life of a Chevy guy. Anyway, so they just called us. Uh, they've got some buck deer spotted over in another area. And they think they're going to shoot one of them. So they want all the help they can get getting it out of there. And in all fairness, Tim came to our rescue two years ago when Donnie shot his buck and I was so glad that those guys showed up. You guys might remember <laughs> that, but that was a heck of a haul out of there. So um, we're going to go over and see if we can't maybe return the favor. So uh, Wyoming James, Donnie B and the notorious Jake W checking out for now. Stand by. Oh, 
Donnie. <laughs> I was about ready to freeze to death, dude. <laughs> you have to tell me. Did you wet your pants? Nope. <laughs> I can't feel anything, though. Oh, my goodness. There's the rest of them. So here's what we had going. We had these antelope. We're literally right down here in the bottom. 
we've been sitting here. How long we've been sitting here, Dan? Donnie? No clue. We've probably been sitting here an hour waiting He's for those. Not moving. Waiting for those not moving a bit. <laughs> and the sun went down and it started getting cold. And they were just on the other side of this knob. And we were waiting and waiting and waiting. And they were coming out this side. And then all of a sudden, Donnie looks over and says, hey, there's one right there. And there was a doe and a fawn right there where he came up. And so we're watching and we're watching. And next thing you know, here he comes. So we got we to gotta get over there and get that antelope looked at because we're running out of battery. Okay, so how about this? What a dandy buck. Now, I didn't realize this when we were looking at him earlier, but he's been fighting and he's got this broomed off here, uh, which is unfortunate, but still, what a great, great buck. Um, we're sitting there. Donnie and I were sitting there on the side of that hill and it was cold. I mean, the sun went down behind the hill and started going down and it, it was getting cold. I was shivering, my knee was shaking. Uh, Donnie told me, he leans over to me and he says, I really have to pee. <laughs> so fortunately for us, he didn't do the commando thing and just let it go. Uh, he, he held off and so uh, killed a dandy, dandy buck. So I'm so jacked about this. Very cool. This, this is good. Yeah. So um, this, is, this is Donnie's very first antelope, correct? Yep very first yeah. antelope um we we spent most of the day looking at antelope we didn't really sneak on any then we decided now we saw this buck yesterday coming into camp uh jake and and uh, maverick and and those guys and i we saw this buck coming into camp and we just left him alone well we come back this afternoon and we see him he's clear up in that pocket we did a, tried to sneak up on him a couple of times just but they just kept going deeper and deeper so we backed out of there, came around on them, and came in from the top, and there they were. We just had to let them feed toward us, and that was that was torture. <laughs> um, I'm not a real patient guy when it comes to just sitting and waiting for something to happen. I'm kind of a make it happen guy, but I gotta tell you, this was worth the wait. This is an awesome buck. Uh, it was an awesome setup, and uh, we just we made it happen. Donnie. Uh, Donnie was cool on the trigger. I don't know how he kept the crosshairs steady because I was shaking so bad I could barely hold the camera steady. So, and his hands were, I was wearing gloves. My hands were fine. His hands got cold. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit cold, but, uh, so I, I offered him my gloves, but he was, he's too tough for that. So, um, that's it. We, uh, we've got to get this buck taken care of. We've got to probably get him to town. We have to go pick up Jake. Jake had to leave us midday because he had to take Tim's truck into the, uh, to the garage to get it fixed. So,